Hello everyone and welcome back to the Iraqi Dinar News Channel. I hope you're all doing well, and I sincerely pray that each one of you experiences long life, happiness, and success. I greatly appreciate your support for this channel, and I kindly ask you to give this video a like, share it with others, and subscribe to stay updated with all the latest news and insights. Before we dive into today's information, I have a quick request. Please stay with me until the end of this video to support my efforts in bringing you the most up-to-date news on the Iraqi dinar. Now, I also have something very exciting to share with you. Head over to Google and type in jaropinions.com. This website compiles all the latest dinar opinions, guru updates, and insights into one page, making it easier than ever to stay informed. If you're looking for quick and reliable updates about the Iraqi dinar, this site is a must-visit. All right. Let's get started with today's critical updates because it's becoming clearer and clearer that Iraq is rapidly moving toward a significant and final stage of their monetary reform. Iraqi citizens, the long-awaited changes to your currency are just around the corner. These changes are no longer just rumors, but are now becoming a reality. Every day, we're seeing more and more developments coming out of Iraq, with reports suggesting that something big is going to happen by the end of the month, on October 30th, 2024. Many experts, gurus, and even government officials have hinted at this timeline. We've been talking about the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar for years, but what we're witnessing now is truly unprecedented. The updates are becoming more frequent, and every sign is pointing to a major shift in Iraq's currency system. This could be one of the most monumental financial events in the history of the country. Thousands protest in Iraq. What does this mean for the dinar? Before we get too far into the revaluation discussion, it's important to touch on some major developments happening within Iraq's political landscape. Just recently, thousands of Iraqi protesters attempted to storm the U.S. Embassy in Baghdad. The unrest was sparked by a series of events, including the death of a prominent Iraqi figure. While these protests are concerning, especially for U.S. personnel in the region, it raises an important question for Iraqi dinar holders. How will this political instability affect the currency's revaluation? The truth is, an unstable political environment is always a risk, but we've seen over and over again that Iraq's government, particularly under the leadership of Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al-Sadani, is committed to economic reforms and moving the country toward stability. Many experts believe that the Iraqi government will stay on course for the currency changes despite the political turbulence. Al-Sadani's administration has made clear that they are prioritizing monetary reform as part of Iraq's larger economic recovery. Iraq to release smaller denominations. What it means for revaluation. Now, let's talk about the most exciting news coming out of Iraq, the introduction of smaller currency denominations. Iraq is reportedly preparing to release new notes in denominations of 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100 dinars. This is a significant move for several reasons, but one of the most interesting aspects of this change is that no $1 bills will be introduced in this new batch of currency. What does this mean? It's a clear indication that Iraq is getting ready to phase out its older, larger denominations, the infamous 3-0 notes that include the 25,000, 10,000, 5,000, and 1,000 dinar bills. These larger notes, which have been a staple of Iraq's monetary system for years, are set to be completely removed from circulation by the end of this month, October 30th, 2024. This move is an essential part of Iraq's strategy to combat inflation, stabilize its economy, and increase the overall value of the Iraqi dinar. Why remove large denominations? You may be wondering why Iraq is making such a drastic change. The answer lies in the economics of currency. High-value denominations like the 25,000 dinar note can actually contribute to inflation. By removing these large notes, Iraq will encourage more transactions in smaller amounts, which could help to stabilize their economy and boost the value of the dinar. When smaller bills are in circulation, more money is actively moving through the economy. This can help local businesses, as consumers will likely make more frequent transactions using smaller notes. In essence, this move could inject more liquidity into Iraq's financial system, which is crucial for promoting long-term stability. What happens to the old notes? For those who hold the older, 3-0 notes, this change could be significant. These notes may lose their value quickly if they are taken out of circulation. 
Imagine holding a 25,000 dinar note that could soon become worthless. That's why it's essential to stay informed and act quickly. If you're holding on to any of these older notes, you may want to exchange them for newer denominations before the deadline at the end of this month. This transition can be overwhelming, especially for those unfamiliar with how currency exchanges work. It's crucial to start planning now by researching local banks or currency exchange services that can help with the process. Many dinar holders may find it challenging to navigate this transition, but by staying informed, you can ensure that you're prepared. How will this impact Iraq's economy? The introduction of these smaller denominations is happening against the backdrop of other significant developments in Iraq's economic landscape. Prime Minister al-Sadani and the Central Bank of Iraq have both made it clear that these changes are part of a larger effort to stabilize the economy and attract foreign investment. Removing high-value notes is not just a monetary reform, it's a signal to the international community that Iraq is serious about its economic recovery. Investors, both local and international, often look for signs of economic stability before committing their money to a country. The introduction of smaller denominations, along with the removal of larger notes, could help to foster that sense of stability. If this new currency system is implemented smoothly, it may encourage more investment in Iraq, which could further strengthen the country's economy. What about Iraqi citizens? For everyday Iraqi citizens, the introduction of these smaller denominations could have a noticeable impact on daily life. Spending habits may change as people begin using smaller bills for transactions. Businesses will likely have to adjust as well. For example, shop owners may need to stock up on more coins or smaller notes to give proper change. Pricing will also likely undergo some changes as the country shifts to a new currency system. It's an exciting time for Iraq, but also a time of uncertainty. The introduction of new denominations could improve the financial lives of many, making cash more accessible and encouraging better spending habits. On the other hand, there's always the risk of confusion during the transition period, which is why it's so important for people to stay informed and plan ahead. Will this move attract international attention? The rollout of these new notes is also happening as Iraq continues to strengthen its international relationships. By stabilizing its economy, Iraq could attract more foreign partnerships and increase trade with other countries. This move could place Iraq on the global stage in a new and exciting way. For those interested in Iraq's economic future, this is an important time to watch. The country is making significant moves to improve its financial system, and these changes are happening faster than many expected. Could this lead to more international investment? Will we see Iraq become a hub for trade in the Middle East? Only time will tell, but the signs are certainly encouraging. Conclusion As we approach the end of October, it's clear that Iraq is on the brink of something big. The removal of the old 3-0 notes, the introduction of smaller denominations, and the broader economic reforms all point to a significant shift in Iraq's financial landscape. For those holding Iraqi dinar, the next few weeks could be crucial. Make sure you're prepared, stay informed, and take the necessary steps to ensure you don't get caught off guard by these changes. What are your thoughts on Iraq's plans for their new currency? Are you excited about the smaller denominations? Have you made plans for your 3-0 notes? We'd love to hear from you, so leave your comments below, and let's keep the conversation going. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates about the Iraqi dinar and other financial news. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.